I have to, I have to tell you about, I have to tell you about paranormal activity before they come and get me. No! Greetings and salutations, my movie maniacs out there. I, Mark the Movie Man, it's that time. And yes, today we're taking a look at the film, about the only film that's premiering this weekend, and that's Paranormal Activity, The Marked Ones. Yes, brought to us by writer and director Christopher Landon, who wrote uh, Paranormal Activity 2, 3, and 4. Now, in this one, it's a this isn't Paranormal Activity 5. This is a completely spin-off story, so that we're told, and a completely different storyline, okay, where we get Jesse, who is a high school kid. He just graduated and uh, you know he's just enjoying life with his buddy Hector and Marisol and uh, you know living with his grandmother uh, and his, his family and then things start happening to him. Some weird things really start happening to him. Uh, and he, they, they suspect it might be the crazy lady that lives below him, who some people have called a witch. Well, pretty soon as he investigates further, he finds a weird mark on his arm, and he finds out he's one of the marked ones. Someone who is flagged to be actually possessed by some very mean demon, and they're going to lose control and lose themselves as the demon takes over. And we see how Jesse fights to try... Uh, to keep control over himself and not hurt his loved ones. Folks, marked, uh, the marked ones really caught me, okay? It captured me right at the beginning. Now, I'm hard on found footage films. I'm going to admit that. But I, while it got me into this film, I'm like, okay, I'm kind of getting into these characters. I loved the performances by this entire cast. Andrew Jacobs, who plays Jesse. Jorge Diaz, uh, who plays his buddy Hector. And uh, Gabriela Walsh, uh, plays Marisol, uh, a part of their group of friends. All three of these people really felt like they were friends. I, I enjoyed their uh, dialogue and their banter, really felt uh, authentic, and I, and I enjoyed that. I liked the chemistry between these three, and it really sold me and made me interested in these uh, characters, more interested than I've ever been in any of the other Paranormal Activity films' uh, characters. So it caught me, it grabbed me. I'm like, all right, we're trying something different. Then we get into the story, and the story has a different feel to it at the beginning of the film. We're learning more, we're learning different angles. They do a little bit of a hint in, in near the beginning of the film of it being linked, to, uh, showing a slight link to the other paranormal activity films, and I'm like, okay, th they throw that in there, all right, but this is still supposed to be a standalone film, and so far it's doing pretty good on its own. That is until the last 15 minutes of this film. Folks, Paranormal Activity, The Marked Ones, claims to be a spin-off, claims to be its own entity, but in the end, when it gets near the end, I'm not going to ruin it for you or spoil it, I'm just going to say it felt very forced for them to try to connect this with the other films of the franchise. I was really hoping they would have kept this, kept this self-contained as a spin-off film, but unfortunately, no. We do get a lot more elements towards the and where it seems forced, like they're trying to connect it to the other films. And I really, really, really wish they hadn't done that because it really took me away from the film. I was really engrossed in these characters, really enjoying the performances and stories, and all of a sudden, boom! And I'm like, oh, really? Really? And even at the end, some people in the audience went, that was it? <laughs> you know, so uh, the, I wasn't the only one that had that got into this uh, movie in the beginning and it sucked you in, but then at the end, it just left me really disappointed and fell flat. And it's very, I, I just feel bad that Christopher Landon felt the need that he, to do that because he had something, I think, going with this film. Uh, you know, now granted, it's paranormal activity, so you've got the cliche jump scares that you're gonna get out of these films, okay? The the cheap scares that'll make people jump just out of reactionary purposes because that's your natural reaction. You know, and then building of tension, they... They, they do that normally, and you've got some of your cliches in here, but not a whole lot. I mean, it really felt like a different film till near the end. So, uh, Paranormal Activity, The Marked Ones, I could only give it two stubs, okay? Uh, and that was for the fantastic performances by this cast, the interesting story that they started out with this film. It's unfortunately just couldn't finish it enough for me to really come out of the theater feeling I got my seven bucks worth, which it was a matinee price, so I'm glad I at least I got that. So if you are a fan of the Paranormal Activity films, you'll probably enjoy this just fine, especially as it gets near the end and they tie 
tie, try to tie more and more of it to the original franchise. If you're expecting for a spin-off and something different, well then two-thirds of this film you're going to be just fine, but the rest of it may leave you disappointed like myself and the ten other people who were in the audience with me tonight. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Until next time, folks, remember, keep that ticket stop.